Joe Button's got enemies in these streets. Now, nothing new for Joe. He's known for beefing. And now he's getting into it with Tasha K. After Tasha K was on the Joe Button podcast, I wish they proceeded to have an interview with her. Never got put out. Cardi B came out and said she felt like Joe Button was coming for her because Joe Button didn't like her song with, with, uh, with Meg The Stallion. And then Joe went goes ahead and interviews Tasha K after Cardi B, you know, had that lawsuit against her. Now, to Cardi B, I would say... Uh, Joe Button will owe you nothing who he does have on his platform or doesn't have on his platform unless you're funding it you should trip and he don't have to cut himself off from anybody just because you don't like them I think the nerve of some of these artists sometimes to think that everybody's supposed to do what they do what they want them to do you're not paying his bills he can talk to people who he wants to talk to now let's go on from that because Joe Button did not put that tape out and it was speculation that it was because he did not want to upset Cardi B well Tasha K decided to run with this and go off on Joe Button and talk about he industry, he he scary and all this other type of stuff and called him out for not supporting a black woman and supporting black content creators. To which Joe Button comes out and says, look here girl, I was gonna, I was probably gonna put it out. I just had to edit it and look over a couple things with my lawyers, make sure I couldn't get sued. But since you want to, you know, just go buck wild crazy out of nowhere for your little, you know, get a little, I guess, uh, attention on, on, on yeah, and, p- and people talking about you. I'm not gonna play. It. I'm not gonna put it out no more. So now you're not gonna be able to be on my platform. And not only well, I'm not gonna put this show out. You'll never be on my platform again. Now I was guessing that that was actually what it was. I was guessing that. Joe's probably just editing it, and he doesn't put stuff out right away. He, he'll sit with something for a minute. I know this for a fact because I know whenever Academics goes on this platform, Academics says, oh, yeah, I'm going to go record with Joe, and we might not see it for like a month or something. So I was thinking she's probably just being impatient, and he probably just he's probably going to put it out later. He does a lot of shows, so he doesn't have to put things out right away all the time. But, yeah, but lo and behold, Tasha K, she talked herself out of a situation where she could have had a, a good relationship with Joe Budden. She decided not to. And I think Joe was just like, yo, man, and, and I'm Virgo, so I get where Joe coming from. He's like, bro, if there's already trouble like this and ain't nothing even happened yet, I don't even want to get into it with you. Because Tasha K type person who loses money, she just makes claims and, and she can't defend herself in court and she loses money. And I ain't trying to have her lose none of my money by platforming her and then she say some wild stuff. And then on top of that, it's like, I see what kind of person you is. Like I think Joe himself said he's like when you when you uh when you when you get with, when you mess with pigs or you getting to the pig the pig style with the pigs you gonna get dirty too some to that degree and that's true and when you mess with those type of people who are you know just clout chasers just uh, the the shock jocks who just want to cause drama and stir up some mess and, and spread rumors it's gonna affect you too I think Joe was willing to have a conversation with her to understand her. But all this drama, all the fallout from this has kind of turned him off. And then, of course, Adam22 comes in and is trolling and calling Joe Button Ho Button and all type of stuff. And, you know, Joe and Adam's relationship has been kind of rocky over the years. I think that Joe just really looked at this situation and said, you know, this is goofy. These are two goofs. I don't have to deal with them. And, I mean, that's how I feel about it, too, because I don't think Joe did anything wrong. I think if Joe Budden did want to release that, he don't got to release that. But you can still, you can disagree with Joe. Like, if I had an interview with Joe and he didn't release it, I would be upset. But I'm not going to ruin that relationship based off of him not wanting to put something on his own platform. His 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 footage on his platform, if he don't want to do that, he don't want to do that. You just try to get a good relationship with him and say, well, hey, is there a way we can do something else to where we can release it? I will, you know. And I get what Taja Cage coming from. She said she gave him a great interview. She gave him all and, you know, went deep with him. And I guess gave him some good, um, some some clickbaity stuff to work with. So I understand where she's coming from. She feel like it wasn't appreciated, but there's a way to go about it. And hopefully Tasha K learns from this experience and learns to communicate with people instead of just, you know, jumping the gun, you know, going buck wild crazy and not trying to see what's really going on. Because it could be, it could have been a timeline where we get to see this interview. And I'd be curious about it. But yeah, that's the lesson there. Cardi B, you know, blogs, media don't owe you nothing. They can talk to whoever they want to. Um, Tasha K, chill out, take a breath, don't let yourself get upset, communicate with the person. It may just be a misunderstanding. And Joe Budden, maybe you need to pick better quality of people and, and let people, when people show you where they are, let them be where they are, and you just go and do your own thing. But that's my two cents on it. Do you think Joe's right? Do you think that Tasha's right? Do you think one of them is wrong or nobody's wrong? Everybody's entitled to their opinions. And what, and what do you think about 
uh, Cardi B being upset with Joe Budden for even uh, interviewing her in the first place. It's the Wet Guest Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. It's the Wet Guest Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. 